Hello ISMRM, my name is Salah Hassana and I am presenting my abstract Radial Perfusion Cardiac Magnetic Resonance Imaging using Deep Learning Image Reconstruction. I have no conflicts of interest. Myocardial perfusion imaging with CMR is a non-invasive method for assessing myocardial ischemia. We usually perform perfusion imaging using an ECG triggered acquisition with a 90 degree saturation pulse followed by a single shot Cartesian acquisition. However, the reliance on ECG gating for systolic acquisition imposes practical difficulties and could compromise the image quality if the patient has a variable heart rate or a short RR interval. As an alternative, several new studies have investigated the use of free-running sequences without a saturation pulse. By doing so, they remove the need for ECG gating and breath holding. These sequences replace the single shot Cartesian acquisition with an SPGR-based T1-weighted acquisition and accelerated radial case space sampling with golden angle ordering, which samples continuously across the whole cardiac cycle. However, these methods are not without their challenges. Due to the need for rapid acquisition, the case based data will be undersampled, and a naive reconstruction of simply gridding and an NUFT will produce a streaking infected image which is not suitable for clinical diagnosis. Currently, this issue is resolved using a compressed sensing reconstruction technique which exploits the sparsity and the incoherence of the radial case space to recover the image from the undersampled data. However, compressed sensing reconstruction can take hours which prevents clinical adoption. We propose an ML model which takes the streaking infected images as input and produces streaking free images comparable to those produced with compressed sensing. To achieve this, we trained our model using the state-of-the-art UNET, which is comprised of an encoder and decoder with skip connections. The alias images were fed into the network and had the real and imaginary components concatenated to enable real value processing of complex data. The fully sampled images were used as labels. However, training such a network would require a very large data set. Due to the limited availability of perfusion data, we trained our network using a CINE dataset of 503 patients. The dataset consists of CINE Cartesian imaging with an acceleration factor of 2. To synthesize the radial data we need, we first took the undersampled Cartesian case space, passed it into a grappa function which estimated the missing lines, and then passed it into a Fourier transform which gave us our fully sampled images. We then took these fully sampled images and passed them into an inverse NUFFT which fit them onto 14 case space lines. This effectively gave us our undersampled radial data. We then passed that into an NUFFT which gives us our alias images which will be used as the input to the network. Now that we have our training data, we can train our model. To evaluate the performance of our model, we collected perfusion scans from 11 patients. The cohort consisted of cardiac patients with various clinical indications. The acquisition sequence used golden angle continuous radial sampling. Here you can see the reconstruction for the standard gridding along with our compressed sensing reconstruction and the UNET model reconstruction. As you can see, both compressed sensing and the UNET model were able to successfully remove the streaking artifacts. However, while the compressed sensing reconstruction took approximately three and a half hours, our model was able to achieve similar results in just 60 seconds. We then had two expert cardiologists evaluate the reconstruction and grade them on a score of 1 to 5, with 1 being non-diagnostic and 5 being minimal, for both artifact level and sharpness level. Here you see a visualization of our results. As expected, the standard gridding reconstruction showed significant aliasing artifacts and received poor average scores from the readers. Compressed sensing reconstruction did score slightly better than our deep learning reconstruction in both artifact level and sharpness. However, all images were deemed to have moderate to minimal artifact severity and sharpness scores. In conclusion, we have proposed an ML model which enables the rapid reconstruction of a free-running myocardial perfusion sequence with accelerated radial case space sampling. However, this study did not quantify myocardial blood flow for either compressed sensing or the ML model, so further work is needed. I want to thank my co-authors for their assistance, the NIH for funding us, and thank you for your attention.